Good morning, folks. Quick little update. This was the solar flare chart when we left off yesterday, and here it is now. Two more upticks into higher M-class range solar flares, and one of them likely produced an eruption that will clip Earth. You will see both flashes from the departing sunspot group on the south in these sequences. The first one definitively sent a CME out ahead of Earth's orbit and will miss, but the second one had a wider burst, with both the sunspot group and the filament trailing behind it erupting during the event. While both flaring events lasted a while, the first one was actually a compilation of several impulsive events and the second one is an eruption of longer duration, the ones that always produce the bigger CMEs. The second one has also set high energy protons towards Earth along the interplanetary magnetic fields, still at low levels this morning, but that is another signal of the wider and stronger eruption. During that second blast in focus here, I want you to see the rippling that goes out across the corona another good signal of how wide it was. And while SOHO coronagraphs still need to update further to fully diagnose the CME, the few images that are there do seem to show ejecta heading out in a partial halo, indicating it has a good chance of impacting Earth. It will not be scary or reason to fear, especially since it's just a glancing blow instead of a CME, but we will be tracking it nonetheless. I want to thank everyone who came out to yesterday's event. It rained for over half the time, but didn't seem to phase anyone, especially the children. Already can't wait for the next event. And so folks, again, we're waiting for SOHO coronagraphs to update a bit more, but at this time we do expect a weak to moderate CME impact on Monday. We will update as needed. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.